Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the video. So here today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, an issue that I experienced now uh, early last week and a lot of people are having is this S-Man fatal error. Um, so over this past weekend I did ex extensive testing uh, across four systems using uh, four, four hard drives um, that I interchanged back and forth or whatever. Um, so I was able to track down at least one issue that causes it and other issues may cause it. But the main culprit seems to be multi-man. So this is what uh, I've determined uh, in, in all the testing that I've done. Pretty much if you, if you have S-Man installed, whether you turn it off or not. Now in all my instances, I turned it off. But um, even, I think it's the same if you leave it on. Um, when you use multi-man and you load a game, and the game comes back to the XMB, um, and you see the um, the disk icon there. Whether you launch the game or not is completely irrelevant. Once you use Multiman to load a game, and the disk icon appears, you could turn off the PS3 immediately, or go back into Multiman and come out so the disk icon disappears. It doesn't matter. The very next time you start S-Man, you will get that fatal error. At least that's what happened in all of my testing. In the last two systems I did this weekend, which was I think Saturday, or Friday and Saturday, or Saturday and Sunday, I did two systems and I tested it on these two systems. I in uh, they were fresh, freshly modded systems. I installed the toolbox, turned on Cobra, and on one system I installed Multiman before S-Man. I ran Multiman, loaded up a game, didn't play it, exited out, went into Multiman, came out. Um, and then I installed S-Man, uh, turned it on, rebooted, and sure enough, I got the fatal error. On the other system, I installed Multiman, but I never ran it. I never loaded up a game. Um, I installed S-Man uh, 110, just like in the other one, and everything worked just fine. So that tells me, uh, oh, and then at the end, everything was running fine. Then at the end, I loaded up a disk. Uh, using Multiman after shutting off S-Man and sure enough that fatal error kicked in. So that tells me that something is happening with Multiman uh, somewhere along the line where you load the disk, something is going on and it creates a conflict. Now the bad news is that this fatal error doesn't go away. Now I'm going to show you how you can get it away from your screen so it doesn't pop up on your screen. Um, but in, in the future, if you ever try and install an S-Man, unless they figure out a, a way around this, it won't function properly, at least not on Rebug. It might on another system. But I wiped out all these hard drives over and over again, deleted the partitions, reformatted them on the PC, formatted them in safe mode in the PS3, and nothing worked. Even re reinstalling Rebug, nothing worked. On my system, I even dehashed it, went back down, and um, uh, to 3.55 OFW, came back to Rebug, um, and the dehashing didn't work. Once I would install S-Man, I immediately would get a fatal error, whether Multiman was ran or not, whether it was installed or not, didn't matter. So it, it leads me to believe that the problem, once you get that fatal error, um, the problem will reside in the BIOS. Um, and short of me flashing my BIOS again, I, I won't know. So, um, but yeah, anyway, let me go ahead. I've already presented it to Dean. I told him what's going on, the guy who, who um, was the developer behind it. And... Uh, Junie, who is the uh, lead developer in Team Rebug, is looking into it as well because they're saying it might be a problem with the permissions. I don't know. So anyway, let's move on. Let me show you via Multiman's uh, file manager how to remove the files you need to get going. Okay, now of course you can follow via FTP. Let's go ahead and let's go into devhdd0. Uh, you're going to go into the TMP folder, and you're going to delete everything and anything that starts with the letters WM. Now, here I'm running Webman Mod again, which, by the way, 1.47.04 seems to be working great. Again, I'm going to do a video about that uh, later on, um, so I have a lot of them. But S-Man will only, I think, have just one thing, which is the WM TMP folder, so you can delete that entire folder. Anything else that starts with WM in this folder you can delete okay once you've done that go back out to the HDD uh, 0 directory you're gonna go here and delete this XML host folder the entire folder 
if you've edited your boot plugins text and you can edit this with any notepad application either on your smart device or on your PC if you have multiple lines here that launch different plugins just delete the line that's responsible for launching uh, the S-Man SPRX if S-Man SPRX is the only thing you have there then you can technically delete this whole file now once you've made the additions or, or the subtraction uh, save it and put it back in here um, if you want you can delete the whole file if that's the only thing that's written down and then you need to delete the actual S-Man SPRX file uh, if it's not here in your dev HDD 0 then it's probably in your plugins folder here in dev HDD 0 um, so it'll be in one of those two places usually okay and that's pretty much it once you delete all that stuff you can reboot the system and uh, and it'll be gone and you will not get the notification anymore hopefully they'll fix it guys anyway stay tuned for my next video uh, we will be going over this new webman mod and uh, some other stuff thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up we'll see you next time